As popular as Flight Simulator was back in the day, not many people could have predicted that 2020's Microsoft Flight Simulator would perform so well. It crossed 15 million players this past June with its immense scale, photorealistic visuals, and absurd commitment to flight simulations, seeming impossible to surpass. Cue Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. It launches on November 19th for Xbox Series X and S and PC alongside Game Pass. Yes, one day before Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl. Beyond just packing more into the sequel, what does Asobo Studios bring to the table with its features? Here are 15 things you should know about Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 before pre-ordering it and not just playing it through Game Pass like everyone else. Career Mode By now you know about the new career mode. Start as a pilot at any airport, carry out missions, and slowly make your way through, learning new skills via the certification tree and even acquiring more aircraft for the fleet. However, you can also create a custom avatar, and depending on your performance in certain missions, you can earn additional credits. You can even hire staff to manage the fleet. Virtually unlimited missions are promised, which almost sounds like a threat to completionists. Career Mode Limitations The only downside to all those new missions, whether it's aerial firefighting, cargo ops, search and rescue, or aerial advertising, is that they're only available inside Career Mode. The aircraft available to use in the mode also varies. Asobo says most but not all aircrafts can be used in the mode, but it's open to third parties who want to participate. Challenges Those seeking instant gratification can jump into the Challenge League, facing other players across various activities. But how does it differ from the challenges in the 2020 edition? As per IGN's preview, each week brings three new challenges, ranging from two to three minutes, and you can compete at varying levels like bronze, silver, and gold, with leaderboard supported. Don't count on the flight model being any less realistic either. If the challenge is a Grand Canyon race with an FA-18 Hornet, you must master its real-world intricacies to succeed. Aircraft Over 120 aircrafts are available at launch for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, though availability depends on the edition purchased. Nevertheless, the roster looks very impressive, from the H-4 Spruce Goose, from Hughes Aircraft Company and the legendary Wright Flyer to the DG-1001E and L-39. However, what's more interesting is all the new aircrafts included this year. New Aircraft Types New additions include the A330-743L Beluga XL, A400M Atlas, A321LR, and more from Airbus alongside the S64F Aircrane, the A10 Thunderbolt 10, the Jetson 1 Evetal, and the Skyship 600. If that wasn't enough, players have not one, but two types of hot air balloons, and the Powershoot Skyrascal. Enhanced Physics System of course, the physics have also been enhanced to accommodate the new aircraft types. The Xbox Store listing indicates over 10,000 rigid body surfaces to simulate the shape of any aircraft, though cloth, balloons, and other soft body physics are also supported. Water and ground handling have also improved, and new systems for wear and tear and failure have been implemented. 27 Highly Detailed Biomes to Explore on Foot of all the new features Asobo could have implemented in a Flight Simulator sequel, touching grass was probably the least expected. Nevertheless, you venture outside of your aircraft and walk around in a location, even taking pictures as part of World Photographer mode. Perhaps most impressive is that there are 27 different biome types to explore, with numerous vegetation types, dynamic grass, and more, all affected by the weather and seasons. Scale of the World Asobo promises that this is the most detailed recreation of planet Earth to date, but what does that mean in raw numbers? Over 100,000 square kilometers of countryside brought to life via photogrammetry, and some 40,000 airports, nearly 3 trillion trees, 1.5 billion buildings, 80,000 helipads, and 40,000 airports courtesy of the game's procedural system. You can also expect over 500 cities brought to life via Triangular Irregular Network, or TIN. Handcrafted Locations 
An extensive list of all the locations has yet to be revealed. However, Asobo confirmed that over 150 airports, 10,000 heliports, 2,000 points of interest, 900 oil rigs, and 2,000 glider airports have been carefully handcrafted for players. It's incredibly exciting, especially when stacked up to the previous game's offerings, and you can expect these numbers to go up as more world updates are released. Photometric Lighting and New Cloud Types the world has seen its share of graphical improvements, from improved vehicle traffic to ship traffic, which also applies to the lighting. Everything looks more realistic thanks to a new photometric lighting system, and while weather improvements mean realistic seasons, storms, and even aurora borealis, at this time of year, etc., etc., you can also look forward to fresh new cloud types, if the gorgeous skyboxes haven't showcased that already. Additional details on flight planning. The new flight planner is exactly what fans have clamored for since 2023. While you can plan routes, allocate fuel and whatnot, it supports IFR and VFR map layers, ETOPS planning, IFR charts, and NOTAMs. Even better, you can use the flight planner on mobiles or through a web browser. New Aircraft Systems But wait, there's more! Have you ever wanted to conduct walk-around checks or inspections? Flight Simulator 2024 offers that while implementing electrical, fuel, hydraulic, and fuel systems alongside payload and passenger systems for aircraft, which are highly accurate. You even have avionics like Universal UNS-1, FMS, and Honeywell Primus Epic II available. PC Requirements It's bad enough that Flight Sim 2024 demands top-of-the-line CPUs and GPUs on PC for its ideal specs, but you better pack enough RAM as well. To fully push the game to its limits, you need an Intel Core i7-14700K or AMD Ryzen 9 7900X, a GeForce RTX 4080 or Radeon RX 7900 XT, 12GB of VRAM, and 64 gigs of RAM. The other requirements are a little more reasonable. Minimum settings include a Core i7-6800K or Ryzen 2600X, 16GB of RAM, and a GTX 970 or Radeon RX 5700, 4GB of VRAM, while the recommended settings necessitate a Core i7-10700K or Ryzen 7 2700X, a measly 32GB of RAM, and an RTX 2080 or Radeon RX 5700 XT with 8GB of VRAM. If it's any consolation, the base installation size is only 50GB, but online bandwidth requirements for streaming assets via the cloud vary significantly. Minimum specs require 10MB per second, recommended specs demand 50MB per second, and ideal specs require 100MB per second. Carries over content from Flight Sim 2020 Microsoft's Flight Simulator wasn't just a compelling flight sim, it also offered a pretty robust market with tons of add-ons with new aircraft, liveries, missions, scenery, airports, bundles, and more for real money. Flight Simulator 2024 is going in the same direction, but almost any add-on purchased for the 2020 edition will carry over. Furthermore, upgrades to Microsoft's produced content like Expert Series, Local Legends, and so on will be free. And yes, aircrafts from the Microsoft Store version of Flight Sim 2020 Premium Deluxe Edition will work in Flight Sim 2024, even if you purchase the latter through Steam. The Biggest and Most Advanced Consumer Flight Sim If everything before this wasn't enough to convince you of Microsoft's Flight Simulator 2024 scale, listen to the development team, which outright calls it the biggest and most advanced consumer flight simulator ever released. Over 500 developers spread through multiple teams who worked on bringing the title to life, compared to 120 employees who worked on Flight Sim 2020. Hey, did you know that we at Gaming Bolt upload new videos every day? Stick around, drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future with a comment below.